here I am, alone in the wilderness, with no chance of survival, and not a single barren civilization with humans and water and... What? What the? Hello guys, Diamond Hunter Zero here, uh, with a video on villagers. If you've never played uh, Minecraft, or if you're very early in your days of Minecraft, and you may not have seen a village. Now this is a village, this is not modded, this is not a special seed. Villagers spawn naturally in Minecraft biomes, uh, specifically certain biomes, plains, and deserts, anywhere with grass blocks. So any yeah, anywhere with a grass block or sand blocks, so deserts and plains, villagers will spawn. Uh, that is the default spawning for villagers in vanilla. And this is a village. This is actually quite a large village here. And I'm going to show you everything there is about villagers. Now, villagers are very rare on PC. Um, they have a very low chance of spawning. Um, especially since they only spawn in those two biomes. This is a flat world completely made out of planes, and this actually took me uh, a while to find one. And this is quite, I'm quite likely because this is quite a large one, and it has every uh, house that I'm going to show you. Uh, but if you manage to find a um, village near your spawn point or near your base in PC, uh, that is very good, because villagers are very, very useful. You'll definitely want to find some, and I'm about to show you why. Now, if you've, done a, if you've found a village in survival, you're going to need a couple of things first, uh, which I have in my uh, 2, 3, and 4 T's on my hotbar. The first one is the emerald block. Uh, so, emeralds... Um, in their ore form, their blocked form, and their in dot form, are what villagers use as a currency. Uh, the main point of a villager is to trade. They will give you goods um, in return for an emerald or another good. And so emeralds are one of the most wanted items because of this trades, because villagers give you access to some very rare and useful items. Now, you can find emerald ore um, anywhere, any biome, but they're most likely to spawn in extreme hills, which makes it a little more challenging, because they spawn in the biome that also spawns silverfish blocks. Uh, emerald ore is also the rarest ore in vanilla Minecraft, rarer than diamonds, and mining one like diamonds will only give you one. And another thing that adds to their rarity is emerald blocks, emerald ore blocks, will only spawn in groups of one. There'll never be two emerald ore blocks next to each other. And this makes it a lot more challenging, because one ore will only ever give you one emerald. And these prices are very hefty, as I'll show you. And if you manage to collect nine emeralds, which would take you ages, um, you can craft the emerald block. Same as all the other ingot blocks, just for decoration, no use yet. You can use it for beacons. It's a ridiculous idea, though, because it's so rare. And, yeah. If you've managed to build a hall out of these in survival, you're pretty good. So, this is the emerald um, in dot. You cannot use it for crafting. You cannot make tools or any item out of the emerald. Um, the only thing you can use emeralds is for trading with villagers. Um, so I'm going to try and show you every villager there is now before we head to the village. So I'm going to did oh sorry 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 sir. <laughs> this is a butcher villager. They all villagers have the same head. The um, giant uni brow and the nose and emerald eyes. They they're all bald and. Of the same face. I don't know how they survive. Um, so villagers have um, 
They're sort of human-like in the way their body is, but their arms are tacked together uh, like this. They'll never open them. Their legs are slightly shorter than the players. Uh, their head is humongous, and um, they cannot use ladders, I believe. Um, I don't think they can use ladders in the original uh, version that the villagers came out. They might be able in 1.8, I'm not sure. And, oh, um, I better patch this up. Uh, villagers can jump like the player, so they can jump over blocks, uh, which is good, because otherwise they'd be stuck in holes all day. This is, anyway, as I was saying, this is the butcher villager. He has a white apron, and clicking on him brings up his trade menu. Now, villagers in 1.8 and 1.8 only will have their villager name on the top. This butcher is a leather worker, which means he will give you leather-related trades. So if I go, um, I am in 1.8.3, which is the latest version, and uh, any of the 1.8s will have their name on the top. And this is a leather worker, as I said, he will give you leather items. Now, this guy, yes, hello, if you give him 12 leather, he will give you an emerald, so they will not trade just goods, but they will give you emeralds. And sometimes this is the best way to grab emeralds rather than mining. But as I said, they have pretty bad trades. This one isn't very good. You could use these books, uh, sorry, these leather pieces for books, for enchanting, which would be a wiser use. But they also um, can give you armor, uh, blocks, potions, items. Uh, this guy is a leather worker, so he'll give me some leather pants. And he will take those... Give me about my emeralds. He will take those emeralds and give you the item in exchange. So, what have I done again? Control. Let's see. Back to game. So now I'm wearing the pants. I'm wearing pants. I'm wearing pants. Yeah, look at look at my pants. So I'll show you the next villager, if I can get him to spawn. This is the blacksmith villager, same as the butcher, but he wears a black apron, as blacksmiths do. Same face. Are you guys related? And his, if I take this off... Oh, no. Um, this will actually be a good time to show you something. Baby villagers. Light zombies. Uh, you can spawn baby villagers. Either through using the spawn edge and clicking on an adult, or through breeding, which I'll explain later. Uh, baby villagers cannot trade at the moment. Um, they're one block tall, so they can fit underneath blocks, which is a little annoying if you're building around a village. Uh, they're quite fast. And, um, that's pretty much it. Over a period, a couple, uh, of Minecraft days, they will grow into the corresponding, uh, grown villager. So this guy is a priest, a baby priest villager, which I'll show you later. And this guy is a baby librarian villager, which I'll show you as well. Uh, back to the toolsmith. Oh, well, he's a toolsmith. Uh, 23 coal for an emerald. That's an okay price, um, depending how well you are at mining. You could use the coal for something else. There's a very good trade to get emeralds, which I want to show you later. Now, the blacksmith is where you go to get armor or tools or ingots. Uh, he does give you enchanted items occasionally. Uh, there is another villager who will do that. Um, he will give you enchanted items, as I said, if they involve... Um, uh, iron or diamond. Um, so, um, if you need armor or if you need diamond tools, blacksmiths, uh, certain blacksmiths will give out diamond tools and diamond armor, which is good if you've managed to find a village before you've found a large supply of diamonds. So he's quite good. And um, I shall buy your spade. I can use this now. 
to lodge in your pit. And so, if you can't be bothered enchanting, or you don't want to craft the items because of the ingredients, villagers are the go-to people to get them. Uh, this is our next guy. Um, he is the farmer village, or if you are on um, an early version of PE, or an early version of the console, the generic villager. He was the first villager to be programmed um, back when villagers came out, which was 7.2 or 6.4, I believe. Uh, all villagers looked like this, and they could not trade, which is uh, another thing. Um, he has the plain brown robes, as you'll see, he doesn't wear an apron. Um, he has his arms tucked up, and he is a farmer, so he will give you uh, fish-related stuff, because this guy's a fisherman, or uh, wheat-related stuff, or food-related stuff. Um, he can give you cooked items. Uh, he does, I think farmers also do the coal trade, it seems, and the string trade. Now, if I grab my diamond sword here, this is a certain villager I want to show you. Oh, uh, while I'm on this, villagers have 20 health, like players. Oh, actually, I'll show you this guy now. I can get back to the farmer. This is the priest. You saw the baby version there. This is the adult. He wears the pink robes uh, and pink sleeves. And he is one of the most useful uh, villagers because he will give you enchanted items. But not only that, he will give you gold items, as we see here. Uh... This guy's a cleric, he's the, uh, one, the lower, the least useful of the, uh, priest villagers. Rotten flesh trade is actually pretty good. So there are some good trades, this is one of them. Rotten flesh for emeralds. This is particularly good if you've killed a large amount of zombies, or you have a zombie grinder, and you'll get emeralds from this. Uh, gold you can also do, um, so you could, uh, trade nine gold for an emerald. That is a bit expensive. But depending what you want to use your emeralds on, it could be useful if you've got a large amount of gold. Now, if I kill this guy again... Oh, I, I spawned a baby in. You have to be get Oh, the same guy. Get in. You can die. 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 I laugh at your baby stream. Oh, again. Wow, we just... Oh, that guy had a cheaper trade on the gold, actually. So, uh, varying villages will have the same trades, but with uh, the numbers will be slightly different. See, this one is more expensive, and um, it's the same trade, but... Ah, oh, farmer dies back. Let me see if I have... This is the shepherd. He'll give you shears, which is... That, that's, that's, that is ridiculous. Really, she is for four, four emeralds. You're going out of business. Uh, this one is a good trade, actually. 19 wool for an emerald. This isn't the die I wanted, but that is a good trade. If you're on Xbox, or, sorry, not Xbox, um, any of the console games, so Xbox for PlayStation, um, the, fa the um, farmer that is most likely to spawn, the farmer that is most likely to spawn is the wheat farmer, his name will not appear because Xbox and PlayStation aren't up to 1.8, but he will give you wheat-related trades, and one of them is 19 wheat for an emerald, which is the cheapest trade there is, and it is actually the most efficient way to get emeralds. This guy is a little rarer on PC, but um, he is the best way to get emeralds on consoles because consoles um, haven't... Um, because of their size, uh, emerald blocks are rarer, and also uh, extreme hills are less common to spawn, and so 19 wheat for emerald is really the best trade you could get out there. Butcher. Ah, this is the next guy. This is our final guy. Um, this is the librarian. Now, he will give you book-related trades. There's only one type of librarian, I think, which is the generic librarian. He will give you paper, 27 paper for an emerald. That's okay if you've got a sugarcane uh, plantation. So that one's quite a good as one as well to get emeralds.
and uh, he will enchant items, as well as priests and blacksmiths. He will give you enchanted items if you give him uh, the thing. This guy is giving unbreaking, which is a good trade. Um, now, if I'm going to be lucky... Oh, I did it. I did it again. Well, wow. um, if I find the priest, I'll sh uh, show you. If I find the priest I was looking for, I'll show you his special trade. But he doesn't want to spawn at the moment, so I'll get back to him. So now we're going to explore the village, and I'll show you the different buildings that spawn in villages. A little weird. Um, so this is a farm. If you watched my crop video, um, this is a villager farm. They will spawn with wheat, potatoes, or carrots in their tilted dirt. Uh, this is They don't spawn any bigger like this. Uh, they have the double one here, um, which is uh, very similar, two next to each other. Uh, it will spawn twice as much crops because it's double the size. And uh, this one here uh, looks like a wheat and carrot farm. And the wheat uh, crop blocks will actually spawn in any phase. So they will spawn in a random phase. And um, so, as you'll see, we've got grown ones, we've got uh, ones that have just started to grow, we've got carrots with sprouts, fully grown carrots. So this is the this is the easiest way to get potatoes or carrots if you don't want to kill zombies. It's also um, a good way, might I say, for all of these buildings to grab wood if you're low on woods. Um, it is a bit mean just taking people's houses. Uh, so this, as I said, this is the farm spawn. Uh, the next spawn is the, sorry, is the lantern, the uh, night post spawn. That is three um, poles, one black wool, which is good if you want black wool, and four torches. Um, these will spawn alongside roads, which I probably should have mentioned. Uh, roads are made out of gravel. They are a three by three uh, by one deep. Uh, one deep, as you'll see. Uh, they will spawn with cobblestone underneath. So three by three by one uh, slab of gravel, which is good if you need gravel. And then uh, the same with cobblestone underneath. And they will spawn right next to any villager building. So our next uh, building here is the 2x3 house. The 2x3 small house. You can notice it by the door is on the right side. There is nothing in it but one table. And the floor is made out of dirt. Uh, there's nothing on the roof either. But uh, logs, a fair amount of logs. And if you need doors or lodges, um, this is a pretty small house. You can get a good amount from there, but only if you need it. Uh, while I'm here, I'll just tell you about villagers' houses. Every villager's house is made out of three basic materials, which is logs, planks, and cobblestone. And they will only always spawn with oak, so oak log and oak planks, never any other wood. Um, they might add that in the future for other biomes, but at the moment it's only oak. They will also spawn with a door and uh, glass planes, which is, uh, sorry, not planes, panes, which is a good way to get those items if you don't want to smelt them. This is a potato farm. This is the same small house we saw. Um, Oh, this is interesting. This is actually quite important. This is the village well. They will spawn like this. A ring of gravel on the outside. Cobblestone. Fences. And then a cobblestone head. And you'll see that if I go down, the wells actually go all the way down to bedrock, I believe. And they are completely filled up with water. Infinite source of water. And because they're so deep... And because they have this around the edge, the ring, um, if a villager or if a player falls in, they are actually stuck in the well. So you'll often see villagers floating around like this in wells because they can't get out, which is quite funny. 
Now the will, the uh, sorry, the well is important to villagers because it is the villagers spawning point. It is considered the center of a village, and when you generate a world, all the houses will spawn outwards of a well, which is why you'll always see roads go out in every direction. So this is the center point of the village, and houses will spawn around it in a radius, and um, if you want to breed villagers, which I'll show you uh, later, uh, the well can be important. So our next house is the 4x4, four four, or sorry, not 4x4, 3x3 four three three house. It has a cobblestone floor and a plank roof. No door or table, as you can see. Uh, there are two versions of this. Uh, the guards 3x3 three three house, or the regular 3x3 three three house. This is the regular one. And I don't think... Yes, this is the guards 3x3 three three house. No door. But you'll see there is a ladder in the corner, which gives you this viewing platform. This is quite a good one to demolish, because it will give you ladder blocks and fences, which is good if you don't want to craft them. Our next block is the... Um, it's... This is the butcher's or the farmer's house, I think they prefer to. I'm not sure. You can call it either. It has stone slabs as the kitchen, which is quite nice. Uh, window frames all around. A table. Hello. A door. And if I manage to get outside, a tilted uh, roof. So this is a good place to get uh, stairs. Oak stairs. And if we go out, it comes with this paddock. Um, with fences, which is a good thing, if you want fences, you can uh, mine these, and uh, you can, if you're living in a village, uh, you can put animals in here, which is also good. Uh, this takes us to the next um, thing I'm going to show you, which is the blacksmith, one of the more useful, actually one of the most useful uh, buildings in a village. Uh, this is what the blacksmith looks like, cobblestone on the right side, uh, wood hat on the left, uh, slabs on the outside, which is good if you want slabs. And it actually comes with two blocks of lava and iron bars. So if you need either of those, especially if it's early in the game, uh, grab the lava, definitely, and the iron bars. And now occasionally, um, the blacksmith is the most important uh, of the buildings, because it will spawn with a chest or a furnace. Uh, now the furnaces two furnaces stacked on each other, they have a very rare chance of containing an ore or a uh, fuel in one of their slots. Very rare. But the more common spawn is around here, is a chest. Uh, they will always, almost always spawn with a chest, which will contain armor, apples, books, um, or tools. Uh, this is relatively good, because they can spawn with emeralds, diamonds, or gold. Or enchanted items. Uh, that one. Oh, hello. That one wasn't a very good one. This is a low quality one. Um, I want your hat. But I love it. Look, they're giving me all this free clothes. Um, so that's quite good if you've managed to find one. Uh, they're quite. They're a rare building to spawn. They're one of the rarer villagers' buildings to spawn. Which is why uh, they're so useful. Um, I think I've covered all of these. Uh, this is our next one, which is the librarians. Nope, the librarians is over there. Sorry, I keep spawning villages. This is the uh, uh, grand house, or the big house, whatever you want to call it. It hasn't got a name. It spawns in this um, L formation, and is quite good if you're moving into a village, because it's very large. And um, villagers will not spawn inside here. Uh, tables don't spawn. It's empty for some reason. Um, I don't know why. Maybe because it's the largest. And they wanted to add a disadvantage to it. But uh, they could add something into this into the future. Um, so that's quite good if you want to demolish things. Because you get all these um, stairs from it. Or if you want to move into a house. Um, I think I only have... Uh, two more buildings. 
This this is the librarian's house. It's also a very useful one because it spawns with books along the edge, uh, which are very rare. And this will good if you're demolishing it because you'll get all these bookshelves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bookshelves. Um, so that's seven. You only need um two. Almost actually, you need just two um of these librarian's houses, and then. Uh, one bookshelf you'll have to craft yourself, and you'll have enough bookshelves to get uh, level 30 enchanting. So they're very useful. They actually also spawn with a crafting table and all these chairs, which are very nice. And they will spawn with a librarian in here. Same guy as we saw before. Now, final house. Actually, I'm just going to pop by this... Um, uh, this is a slightly better one. It has a tool, more food, um, and gold, which is a common thing to spawn. Uh, furnaces can face either way. I don't know. Uh, they've. I don't know, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know, but they will spawn either way. Now the final one. Um, I want to show you is the church, which is also a rare uh, building to spawn. It looks like this, um, like a normal sort of rural church, and this means that villagers are religious. I, d I don't know who they worship. Maybe Notch. The, the Church of Notch. I don't know. Um, and they're quite small on the inside. Sorry. And uh, they have this little altar, and then they have a ladder. They actually have quite a lot of ladders, which is good. And they don't actually spawn with anything on the inside, but they will spawn with a priest, who's over here. Hello, Diamond Hunters over here. Um, I'm back. We had a bit of a technical issue uh, in the form that the Wi-Fi has gone down, and I'm actually filming from a different location now. So uh, my skins disappeared, which is annoying. Anyway, I found the villager that I was trying to show you guys earlier at the start. This is the um, fully traded cleric villager. Um, he has the same first two trades. And you can uh, get this guy either by spawning him or by finding him if you're on the console versions. Or by uh, trading every trade there is on the normal cleric. And we'll see the first two ones. Uh, then the next one he has is the redstone trade, which um, is in console. Uh, lapis trade, which is not in the console version. Uh, this one's, uh, I think, just for 1.8 because of the new enchanting system. But uh, more importantly, uh, the Eye of Ender trades. Uh, this cleric will actually trade you Eye of Enders um, for seven emeralds, which is fairly cheap, considering that you have to kill endermen uh, to get them naturally. And I've traded a bit here, as you'll see. Uh, glowstone for one emerald, which is also a fairly good trade if you um, mined all the glowstone in the nether, if you're on console, or if you can't find any glowstone in your area on PC. And finally, a uh, Bottle of Enchanting. This is the only way to get Bottle of Enchanting, and this is the village's last trade. And it's 11 emeralds for one bottle of enchanting, which is a pretty high cost, if you think about it. But it is the only way to get it. And if you um, manage to find one at a slightly cheaper price, uh, that is a good choice. And I think that is it. Um, it's just breeding left. And uh, one more. Uh, you can breed villagers like mobs. Um, but um, you cannot use wheat or any other crop as you would with animals like sheep or pigs. Uh, villagers actually breed in a way that involves coding. And it works that any object within the radius of the village well, so anything within the radius, so up from that point there to that point there and all around, anything... Ooh, um, Anything that has a door and a block over a door is considered a house. 
Now, the more doors or the more houses there are within the area of the village, the more likely uh, villagers will breed. So if you cover all these empty patches here in doors, and this actually works quite well in the older versions of Xbox or um, PlayStation, if you cover all this in doors, what happens is the village recognizes, the coding in the village recognizes that there are more doors within the area of this well, and it um, causes the villagers to breed. And what happens is, villagers will have uh, love hearts appear over their heads, like you do when you breed sheep, and if it finds another village with love hearts uh, over its head, and they get together, they will spawn a baby villager. And that is how you multiply villagers in survival. Um, it is a little bit expensive, because you've got to craft doors, and um, if you're in 1.8 like this, um, you ha has to be all one type of wood, which is a little more annoying. But um, if you do have a huge amount of wood and you do craft a load of doors and you want to breed more villages, that is a good way. You can also use that if you're in a base, if um, you've built a villager um, breeder around a village near your base or villagers that spawn in your base. Um, that's quite a good, but you have to get a bit technical with that and do some research. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is the... Uh, golem, the villager golem, or as its uh, threat name is, the iron golem. Uh, the iron golem will spawn randomly um, in villages um, if there is more than, I believe, 10 villages, um, or if um, there is an increase in breeding. Uh, there hasn't been one, one has, I don't know why, but there isn't one in this village, which is red, this is quite a large village. I'm not sure why, but they will spawn naturally if you have a large number of villagers. And so you can create one yourself, um, if there aren't any, or if you want a personal one, by placing iron in a T shape like this, and then grabbing a regular pantum, placing that on the top, and that will give you the villager dollar. So he's a tall golem, he's a f about three blocks tall. Um, he's got these short little legs and the long arms, and he has the face like the villager. Same nose, same weird unibrow. And what will happen is, if we rub a zombie head, yeah, and then we spawn one next to him, oh, he will actually go to one and flit it up with his arms like this. And he will walk to them, throw them up in the air, and then will attack them like that. So he will defend the villagers from any mob that comes near him or a villager during the night. Uh, which actually is something I'm going to show you now. Time, set, night. Now the villagers do something weird at night, and they actually run to a light source in a house. So any anywhere that is a house and contains a light source, they will actually run to it and then close a door. So they have the ability to close doors in um, 1.2, uh, sorry, 7.2 and up. And they will hide in the houses while mobs spawn. And this is their self-defense uh, mechanism against mobs. And what would happen now is iron golems that would have spawned will actually patrol the outside of the village uh, to destroy any mobs. So if I go back to... Uh, we should see the villagers come back out again. Uh, they do this when there is day, and they leave a house and go um, wherever they want to go, depending on where they are. Now I have one last thing, which I think this guy has been doing, is if... Oh, uh, I'm so sorry! Shame on you, shame on you, shame. Um, if I'm trying to find a full one, and if we grab some bone meal, I want to show you something, which is a new feature that they added in uh, 1.8. Um, so this will not 
this will not occur if you have uh, 7.10 or one of the earlier ones. This doesn't occur in console either, so it's a PC only. And what happens is a farmer villager, or um, other villagers I think can do it, they will go up to one, and you'll see there that they actually destroy the plant block and then replace it with seeds. And that means that there is always growing crops in a village. They will not give you the plants. They actually collect the plants themselves. So if we go out here, we might be lucky and catch some of it. Um, yep, we caught that one. And they will do this for uh, wheat, potatoes and carrots. And they will mine it all and then replace it with seeds. Uh, farmers do that, actually. Yes, I think it's just farmers. And this is something they've new they've added to the farmer villager, which is good because they're a bit lazy otherwise. And that is all there is to Minecraft villages. Um, the sand villages are basically the same. They've built out of uh, sandstone, but the villages, the iron domes, and the farms are all the same. And yeah, that is it. So please subscribe, watch some of my other videos, and stay tuned.